of a new theme song because I already did Three's Company. I can't redo Three's Company. <laughs> What was Laverne and Shirley's? What? See, this is gonna, I, I can't play it because we'll get <laughs> demonetized. Yeah, the copyrights and stuff. Once again, we're recording. As always, start the show! It is started. I, okay. We do have a cool green school. Do the, the intro one. and start the show. Oh my god! What's going on, everyone? Alex Cologne. And Jessica Just Havoc. Havoc. We're here with episode three of Bitter Buds. And I'm. Sometimes so I wish we had a studio audience so I could literally have reasons to be like, Hey, do you have a question? Yeah, like a, or like a, yeah, like a, imp like give us something to talk about. Some sort of improv or something. I mean, it would help. Yeah. Because honestly, sometimes I like, I could talk all day and then when I'm sitting here, I'm like, shit, what should we talk about? I don't know, well, my birthday's coming up, so. Oh my God, I can't wait. That. I cannot wait. What can we expect from the Alex's birthday extravaganza? Might try that. If we can find, uh, well, we can find peanut butter, uh, the screwball stuff, whiskey. The whiskey, yeah. Yeah. And then mix a quarter of it. I think Sammy, I think Sammy is disapproving no? of the peanut butter whiskey. I like peanut butter whiskey. The screwball one, it has the sheep on try it. it. With Dr. Pepper, so it's like a quarter of that, and then the rest is Dr. Pepper. Oh. It might taste good. And then the I'm... the Sour Patch Kids one. Ooh. There's a Skittles one too, but I think it's like Don Julio, and then that the Grenadine, but the blue one, and then uh, Clipso Blue Lemonade. Very nice. I think it's getting there's, free in here, bro. There's one lady that I started following. Are you guys really flying that high that all you're gonna do is talk about food? I love food. I don't food. understand what the issue is. That's all you guys are talking about. Yeah. You open with food. What? Yeah. What? What, what you would mean? you rather we talk about? Is there? Is there anything? I don't know. If I had my own we, podcast, you know, I want to talk, talk about, about food. The dilapidated oh state of professional wrestling. Yeah, let's talk about the dilapidated state of go professional ahead. wrestling. You just did Impact. How'd that go? Me? Yeah. It was uh, like what last week? Yeah, I I did IPWF. And let's just say, okay, do you know what that is? What no. Okay, so. No. Is that so, that, like, weird no. WWF fucking. No, it's like, it's like the bit. 80s. Uh, IPWF is like uh, the 80s um, revisited, and each of us get different gimmicks to do. And my character is Lady Bird Johnston, and she is essentially the female Ric Flair. And it's so funny. She talks yeah. about the tunnel of love. Being so, yeah, oh, no. I watched a movie. Well, I started watching a movie the other day called Lady Bird. Cause, uh, listen, I got down a rabbit hole. Ah, it ended, up, it ended up Lady in 16 Bird. Candles. And then the reference after 16 Candles was some movie called Lady Bird. So, do, you, yeah, do you remember right. Lady Bugs with... Uh, yes. Rodney, with Jonathan Brandis? Yes. And Rodney Dangerfield. <laughs> He ends up as a coach for a women's soccer team and he bro, messes up his stepson bro, bro. playing on the team. I forgot Cancel about that. Cancel Culture would eat that movie alive. It's like uh, it's, it's like the it. Bad News Bears, but with soccer. <laughs> no, it's not. It's, it's, it's all about the one person. It's all about Jonathan Brandis' character and him like Jonathan sneaking Brandis. into a girl's team dressed as a girl. It does not age well. well. He does not. Bro, yeah, I know. What? Don't remind me, because Sidekicks is one of oh, my Sidekicks sidekick is such a good movie. Chuck Norris. <laughs> Even uh, Joe Piscopo. Bro, it's an awesome movie. That John, have, you, have you seen Sidekicks? Live watch long. Was Jonathan Brandis oh, also God. in the yeah. never ending story? Or I think yeah, no, so Jonathan Brandis was in part two, maybe? Two was the better one because I had the baby rock guy and I like the baby rock. What was the what was Can the Maca here? was it a Macaulay Culkin one that was kinda like that? Age Master. Age Master. Yes. yes. Sweet. Uh, <laughs> Are you lost? I'm lost. I I got left behind two minutes ago and then I said So you don't know what Page Master is? No, I You've never, never seen ending seen story. No, no, I never know. ending story. Oh my lord, I almost said my land time. Sidekicks, here watch sidekicks with Chuck Norris. If you have one, we're watching. So. Oh, no, we think, gotta watch yeah, that. I you gotta find out. Alex, do do a do a film recap. I'm gonna bring it up on the screen. Film recap. Okay, so sidekicks. so he's dreaming, right? Uh -huh. I don't know which dreaming I forget which dream it was. And like he's got I guess he's got a crush on his teacher. And uh, he's dreaming about his teacher, but then eventually he wakes up and he's in bed 
And and the whole time they're like playing a story about how he has asthma. So he has asthma and you're like, oh, he has asthma. He's screwed. He can't do nothing, right? So then he goes to school. Um, he's hitting on his teacher, but then he's also getting bullied. But he likes he likes Wendy from from Wonder Years. Wendy oh, from Wonder Years Wendy is in it. From Wonder Years. This is not what this movie is about. <laughs> it's little clip notes. Sidekick is this kid. He's a nerdy kid. He has asthma, and like he doesn't have a lot of friends. He wants to get into karate, but he has these times where he like daydreams that he's like in action movies with Chuck Chuck Norris. What but, I know, you're I'll but, get to that. You're ruining it. But. I like that you're like, he's got asthma, so he can't do nothing, right? And so like, like, Wendy. Just can't. Wendy for you know, one of you. Wendy for one can't do nothing right. You know, what's, his, what's his name in the movie, and she, the way she says it pops me every time. I don't, remember. I don't remember what I had for breakfast, let alone what happened in the 1992 uh, I don't think you ate breakfast movie. today. Yo, let's guess the year. What year did Sidekicks come out? I'm guessing 92. Hold up. 92. 90, uh, yeah, I think. I'm I pretty think good at these. 94. Bro, nobody remembers that. I think you and me are literally the only two who remember. I had a Sidekicks poster. No, I think no, I you did not. Yes, I did. Because my brothers were big Sidekicks fans, as any kids from that generation should be. Uh, they got movie posters from all this different movie rental places. I remember one of them was Sidekicks, and I inherited it through the years. I think I had it hanging in my room in seventh grade, which would have been 1999, 2000, year of the new millennium. My phone is what is in here? Wrong. Oh, a thumbtack. You want to have deathmatch, Alex? I have a thumbtack. <laughs> <laughs> is that the best you got? Really? That it is. Hey, she got hit with a light tube one time. Hey, a bundle. Okay, all right. 1992. Oh! oh. I'm good with those. Um, What, the, what is Jonathan Brandis' name in that movie? Barry! Barry. Barry. <laughs> is he always thought that was Larry. She's like, yes. Good old Remember, uh, Barry with asthma. The one dude's like, Barry Wary. <laughs> like, that's supposed to that be was like. an insult early night. Yeah. Oh, like, you Barry Wary. Barry Wary. He's like making fun of him because he can't breathe. That that wouldn't fly today. They, but that's bullying. That's bullying. He has asthma. He can't help it. Well, he can't do anything. He'd probably put it on his Twitter profile, too. Asthma and his survivor. Dad, his dad's like that the dad from every other movie. He's an asthma survivor. Yeah, Joe Piscopo. He's, he was hilarious in that movie. I love Night at the Rocks. I'm ready to get a hold of you. That's where I'm at. Night at the Rocks. So you're on a whole different wavelength. I can't that? believe she. What? I'm. We need I can't... criteria. We need criteria to be in his household, and Sidekicks is one of them. Oh, okay. I'll. I. I'm sure I watched it. I just gotta re. Fresh my brain. Jonathan Brandis, man. He was on his way up, and then he was on his way down. Damn. Literally. Cool. What happened to him? He like he, had, he got on drugs and died. It that was drugs that was, he, um, got, he, got he was dating like died. some fan. He was dating uh, was it Soleil Moonfry? It may have been. You he know, was dating somebody famous, and like they broke up right before he died or something. I can't remember what it was, but it was pretty bad. Well, because of the drug talk again, I just have to bring up. My mom listened to the first episode and. She was You're crying. a liar. No one listened to the first episode. No, but the when we talked about the the acid trip, she was like, first she was like annoyed about it because she's like, it makes me look bad. I was like, no, it was, it was dad's fault. You were mother in the eighties. But she was like, a different time. She was like, you know what though? That was a double dose. And I was like, what? And she goes, yeah. It's a sugar cube, so the sugar cubes back then, if they were a sugar cube, it was a double dose. Like, who needs a double dose? I never had that happen to me. I'm good. Have you, you've never taken acid? No, I know. I don't, we we I already don't talked know. about this. I know, but like, I feel like the mushrooms. is barely recreational for me. It's all pain management and uh, sleep at this point. Oh, man. man. It's like, all. it's everything to me. <laughs> no, it's like, I'm cotton mouth. <laughs> I mean, I we're allowed, you're allowed to mention what we what we uh, smizzed earlier, huh? I think so. It's uh, a, there's a dispensary called Jars in Michigan. They're great. They have great deals. You guys should check them out if you're in Michigan. And um, I got a bunch of pre rolls, and the one we smoked was called Banana Candy, and it's doing its job. Let's just say, <laughs> at least for me.
Huh? No, huh? that that bong, that bong situation was way worse, dude. You know? I thought my face was melting off. And some one of the one of my friends, of the first episode, you were gone. No, one of my friends was like, dude, you were toast. I was like, bro, my face was melted. <laughs> I was trying to figure out what to talk about, like like Jess right before the sidekick stuff. She was she was like, what is this? Yeah, hey, the best I'm, movie ever, I'm frying the frying dragons, bro. Night at the Roxbury. I love that movie. Great movie. And then she yeah. didn't tell me you're Zoolander. Zoolander is off. Uh, I don't know about that, bro. That is a I'll take, cultural dude, classic. I'll take Mystery Men over Zoolander. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, don't vomit! Mystery so Men! Why not? As a kid, hated Mystery Men. As an adult, not so bad. Doesn't hold up against Night at the Roxbury or yes. Zoolander. Look, Zoolander. Oh, man. Zoolander's dumb, man. I don't like it. You're dumb. That's not know. nice. You don't not like dumb. I didn't like it. Zoolander was sweet, though. I liked it. At least uh, the second one, I can't remember as much. But Mila Jovovich is in that movie, and she follows in me what? on Twitter. She's in the first one and the second. Yeah. <laughs> Mila, like Resident Evil? Yes. yes. See, you've she, never even seen Zoolander. She follows me on Twitter. You want to see? I'll show you. I don't know. I don't want to see all the famous people. Like, oh, yeah. There's she only play, one. She plays Will Ferrell's. Uh, Wait, why did she follow you? Was she had a show? She, uh, look, see? Follows you. That's the same. What? Now, it's because Jess stalks celebrities on no, social media. I Bobby Lee. Dude, don't when, we met, when we met Bobby Lee and Psycho Santino at the Bad Friends Live podcast, <laughs> they knew who Jess was. Not Bobby, because of wrestling. Bobby because did. she DMs them. No, that's not them what all we said. Time. No. You can't just DM <laughs> famous no. comedians. No. First of all, that's not how that went. We got up, we did the meet and greet, we paid for the fucking meet and greet. And as soon as it was our turn, we were second to last, Bobby Lee points to me and goes, I know you, I know who you are, you're the lady on the internet, you're the internet lady. And I was like, what? And then he goes, so many DMs. And then Andrew Santino is like, oh, is this who you were talking about? And I was so embarrassed. But here's the thing. If we buy merch, I didn't know this, but if you tag people in an Instagram post, it sends it to their DMs. So I'm not sitting yeah, here. Do that. But I mean, I think I was lit think one night know. though and DM'd Andrew Santino oh, telling how good he was in the uh, show Dave. But he doesn't open his DMs, but Bobby does. Bobby has opened every one of my messages. But never sets. Why are you over that talk? God damn it. Anyway. You know when it's a tag. I don't know if you can tell these people. Well, like, you know when it's, when it's a, like one of those gins. It says, but it, it sends it to them in the. Damn. Now I look all crazy. It again because they already knew. Yeah, uh, somebody just got something. You know, they. Damn. You know, like, say, you say, hey, or yo, or but No, but in the inbox, before you open the message, it'll say two messages or however many tags from this person. But it shows as two messages and then I you click on it and it's just the post that you're tagged in so you probably whatever I'm embarrassed I almost bumped into Don Fry drunk one time cage of death really yeah. oh yeah were you the, did you, did did you see him? him when yes he was up in the crow's nest in the corner right above the entrance he was walking drunk as shit Drunk as shit, and I almost bumped into him. I was like, "Hold up!" I stopped. Sounds oh, like he Don almost Fry. bumped into you. Don that's Fry. Don Fry. Sounds like he almost bumped into you. One time, me and Jess both on separate occur occurrences ran into Biz Marquee at the airport. No. Yes. I did. I, I did. I don't believe you. Yes, I My did. Mom is with me. I wish I could find the picture. It was at the Charlotte I airport. I remember texting you. I said, "No, I hey, did." He took my no, story. No, she took my. We both. No, I don't. Marquee. Oh, bitch. We both met Biz Marquee. Well, I swear he didn't meet him till after I did then. And then had my exact same And story. I met Shirley. Was my mom with you too? At the bar. But you didn't talk to her. I didn't. I was a sprayed. You was a sprayed? Yes. <laughs> he was a sprayed. There's also levels to me in celebrities, apparently, because I've met no <laughs> <laughs> nothing Don close Fry. to this. And Donald Donald Fry. 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 Mickey Rourke that once. I became we best friends. Uh, a week ago I became best friends with Jason Siegel. Oh yeah. He did have some cool action figures, I'm not gonna lie. Who? Jason Siegel? Yeah, he didn't you watch his promo? What do you mean Jason Siegel Who? action figure? Who are you talking about? Yeah. Who am I talking Wait, about? Wait, Jason, uh, not are you thinking of Steven Seagal? <laughs> Is that who you're thinking Steven of? Steven Seagal, like the karate guy? Yeah, no, Jason! 
Seagull. He was in How I Met Your Mother. He was Marshall in How I Met Your Mother. No, don't know that show. We're getting That's Sarah Marshall in the movie. Yeah, but Who's there's the a ton of characters. Character. I love you, man. Character. I love you, man. Wait, we got. That sorry, gotta Google this. This is in Freaks and Geek. Gotta Google. He, don't, I don't watch Freaks and Geek. The, the new was Muppet that Disney Channel? Sorry. No, Freaks and Geeks was where so many people got their start. Seth Rogen, all those guys. I must have been checked out when I was going on because I don't remember that. That was like early 2000s, maybe late 90s. Jason oh. Siegel. I'm looking. You know him if you saw Okay, him. I know his yeah. face, yes. Well, yeah. Wait, how do you become friends with that guy? You didn't see all this stuff? No. I'll put what? the clip. I'm going to put the clip up on the screen. Well, I want to show Alex, though. Yeah, show Alex, but I'll put the clip on the screen. Jason Segel was randomly in the back of Pentagon Phoenix and Pentagon Jr. and Phoenix's Lucha Store. They ran a show on a Monday. Uh, hold on. I have a couple of shows. He's a big star in the crowd tonight. Yeah, yeah. He's so excited. Like, he knows who I am. Let's watch this. That is the damn shit. Whoa, he gave me a shout out. No. No, you know. No, it gets better. There's me. He's wearing a sports coat, though. Jason Siegel, no sports coat. That's whack. Oh crap! And then look, he put him on top of Jason. He's all for it too. He's like, I'm in. I'm Bro, in. he had a great time. He's like, he was saying, no, Callahan, no, no, Callahan. I'm fully in. Sorry, uh, Sammy. It's like, you put the damn thing on the picture. Was it music? You! I did not do that! You put it on your freaking Instagram post! I don't have Instagram. Who? Wait, the king of social media does have Instagram? He does. Instagram. He I'm does. Sure I'm a joke. I'll do your Twitter. Cool <laughs> joke! That was a, such no. a good joke. You're, you guys are mean to Twitter. No! You're mean! You're mean! You can produce this. You're one. mean! Yeah, it's the best. I told them to learn. learn! I told them to learn again! We're gonna learn! And then you. And then somebody brings out the big bags of money. You gotta go work while we record. Is, you know? Isn't it? You guys keep talking. Isn't it over there? Or why are you being a? Didn't I tell you to plug this in before? Oh, I'm looking for that video. I was gonna show you. See, and this is what happens when you guys start looking at videos. Bro, I told you to put the reels on the game. You what? I do. But you said you what? They get what? Well, you're searching. We are talking. We're I, not boring. Well, is, Shut up. Number one, this is a free-flowing process. This isn't you guys got to force yourselves to say something. Yeah, things. it needs to be organic. Okay, and our fans understand, and people love people our still episodes. People watch it. A bunch of people hit me like, oh, watch the thing. They, you know what? A bunch of people are like, hey, uh, you guys going to put this on audio? Yeah, and we're working on it. All right. Well, I can't have people ask me that, so yeah. like, let's push that. And you know what else, too, is the only complaint I've got about our podcast is people are like, we wish it was a little longer. Cause they're thirty, about thirty minutes. And I, Sammy, we'll get we'll, we'll get working on it though. We're getting there, y'all. But like, I think once it's all said and done, I feel like a forty-five minute to hour podcast. Forty-five minutes would probably be the sweet spot. I feel like an hour, then you're just like, you better really have something important to talk about. Yeah, but I feel like once we get in the groove of stuff, because again, this is our third episode. We're we're still getting you didn't know, you know sidekicks. <laughs> How were we gonna have a conversation if Sammy wasn't here? We'd oh, have been screwed. I've been talking about no. food by myself. No, like that's you said, not true. Not, we the, going with the, the conversation <laughs> went in a different direction. Sammy just jumped in there, and then I was like, maybe he should sit here today, oh, and I'll go sit that's over there. So, so awesome. <laughs> When it's like the ninjas clearly Jonathan Brandis, and then the next shot of the ninjas clearly not Jonathan Brandis. <laughs> I feel like I have seen this. I just need to see the cover of the I've film. Them on cover I'm just gonna have to watch it again. But goddamn, I guess give me a list of movies I better know I don't for the next time because you you seen Tommy Boy, right? Yes. All right. I love she Chris has never Farley. Seen Tommy Boy. Chris Farley. I'm just playing. Yeah. I'm joshing you. Oh, <laughs> don't bring Josh into this. Uh, all right. Whoever the fuck that is. Did you see the stealing video? I showed you stealing video, right? Of the ch the chick doing the thing? With the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
That was so funny! He I showed like you that! Yes. Yes. If you're trying to steal something, you just tie it. this. You do this here in the thing. And it like bring it up right now and play it, I guess, again, so I can put it on the screen. Do you want me to get it? Because you guys gotta yeah. watch it react while I put it on the screen. <laughs> Thank you for telling us how this works. We don't know what we would do yeah, without really you. Don't you, don't understand. Understand. you don't understand. You don't understand. You don't they're understand. You're on their inbox, and so at the end little... of the day, they're there. Okay. Uh, it is. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If I walk normally, watch. And watch, the dude's like, I'm doing this. Yeah. That's insane, though. I'm like, does that really work? <laughs> I think that, I think we should try it. I purposely didn't watch the end just so I could get a li uh, live reaction. They're like... <laughs> yes! Oh, oh yeah, okay. The gym. Okay, here we go. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> so hard, dude. <laughs> what are you doing? Who that is so that? aggressive. <sighs> and also, he has a freaking Slayer shirt on. That bro, bro, he just goes <laughs> in. He's like, <laughs> my freaking oh, god, man, that hurt me way too hard, bro. Oh my, <laughs> but you're right. That is standing oh, out of the gym. <sighs> That's not even the only one. This dude does it all the time, bro. He kills me. Oh my god. Woo. Okay, and then I'm gonna, and then I'm, I gotta tone down for that one. Woo. And, but hey, y'all gonna have some funny reels to watch in a minute. My god. I love it. I love it's it. It's so good. I get lost in Instagram reels for far too long. It's a bit ridiculous, but oh well. It's an obsession. It's it is an obsession, and like it's so funny because. Man, I wish I could talk about the IPWF episode because there was something funny that happened. Um, but anyway, I just I just screwed that all up. <laughs> um, never mind. Um, but it goes into uh, because people constantly send me like reels of stuff Bobby Lee says. And I'm like, gosh, I'm so obsessed. I, and one thing I, I'm gonna uh, how I've had a revelation during this episode. I think I need to. Brush up. Well, brush up on uh, side kicks, sidewinders. What is it? Side, side kicks. kicks. Skink. Skink. Oh my god! Oh, John we're about, about, we're about to rolling break over in a suicide <laughs> grave. Oh, you ain't getting that back. I don't give up. But anyway, no. Um, that and then also uh, maybe I'm a f too much of a fangirl <laughs> for Bobby Lee. Oh my god! I can't do it. He's just interesting. And you know, speaking of interesting, you guys look hungry, and I think it's time for a little munchy session. Munchies! Hey, we gotta get that ice cream. Oh, ice cream. What is this? I don't know. That's not cheese. Isn't that, the, isn't that the munchie? No! Cheddar what cheese crap! <laughs> what is it? That, ice cream! Uh, but this I am gonna eat some of these. But she's just gonna eat it. I'm so you. damn hungry. God. So I got these uh, Pick, um, Hostess Hostess uh, donuts, but they're cinnamon. Hmm. And I was like, this sounds good, dude. If I could open Hostess it. donuts. Yeah, That's honest. just a cheddar cheese pack of. Oh my god! Thank you. Yeah, it's probably dangerous. Look at that. Who wants birthday cake and who wants cosmic brownie? Well, let's take a bite of each. Now. Wait, they make ice creams? The the cake plate? Yeah. Hostess? Just, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Little Debbie. You get a fork. Okay. <laughs> well. I eat ice cream with a fork. Well, homelessness. You get a fork. I gotta try this first. Cosmic Brownie, Little Debbie, ice cream. Well, I mean, you beat me to my next idea, which was fine ice cream. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, my God. This is so good. <laughs> There's a bug in it or something. Wait, one more, cause <laughs> we gotta get a good bite. We got a bunch of the different little W ones to try. The oatmeal cream pie one is the best. All right, let me get up. A... I mean, this is all right. It's more like you just taste sugar. <laughs> There's the brownie one. It's not like some Carvel ice cream cake stuff.
Ooh. Better than that one. Still. Mm, no. <laughs> Take a second bite for for, uh, for science purposes. Yeah. So good. So uh, what? What do you guys good. rate it? Um, uh, the the chocolate one's definitely better. So maybe a five point five. Five point five out of what? Out of ten. And that oh. birthday cake one, a smooth 2.5. Okay. Uh, and you got it really worked for your rating, Alex. Yeah. This you is ain't throwing out those melts or six stars. You see, them, you see them brownies I put down? I know. That's why I was like, we have to do the cosmic brownie one because I know you like brownies and you made those bomb ass brownies. I would have to say two for the birthday cake and a six for the cosmic brownie out of ten. But there's oatmeal cream pie one. You like those? Yeah. Mm, they're so good. Star Crunch. What? It's amazing. Star Crunch I was is the oatmeal so good. Cream pie kid more, and that and the what were the marshmallow moon things? Moon pies. Yes. <laughs> moon pies. Good old moon pie, baby. Don't yeah, those them. donuts are good. My yeah, gosh. There's one left. It's all you. I got a box at home. Oh, for real? Yep, yep. Yeah, those are, yeah those are good. Yo, this is you know what spot. I did with that? I had vanilla ice cream randomly, you know, and I was like, all right, boom. And then I put Ooh. that in the vanilla ice cream and I mixed it. Give me the lid! Okay. I mixed it. <laughs> he just yelled about that. I said, Cold Stone, eat this. Yeah. <laughs> Cold Stone was such a huge... Like, James like, you gotta talk about food again! Well... Because that's what I like! Hey, you know? We like food! I like food! Dude, we're not with some six pack mother effers over here. Yeah. Why do movies suck now? Why are there no. Wait, we gotta wait for this. Let me know, because I'm not wasting this. We're recording again. Whatever. And anyway. I'm clapping. There it is. Whatever. You said movies suck now. I agree. Yeah. I'm like, remember when there were teen horror films in the 90s? What happened to that? Does that, does that even exist? I don't, I don't know. What they do now, though, is they're like, you know what? I ain't got no good ideas. Let's just remake a classic and fuck it all up. <laughs> That's what they do. <laughs> Ruin movies. All the Halloweens. That yeah. Zombie dead. My God. Why does his wife have to be in every movie? Why? Why was there a white horse? Why? Because. Why? Yeah. Yeah, I, why? Basically, but, uh, it, I think but that Halloween just, like, was a mixture. She... It was like Jason storyline in Halloween. It was, it was very dumb. strange. It was dumb. It was dumb. He just like is like my wife's hot, so I put her in movies. But yeah, there's no good. The, I, I had remember the biggest crush on her back in the day. Uh, oh. whatever her name is, something Moon. Sherry, 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 Sherry Moon. Zombie. Sherry Moon. Yeah, she was hot when she was younger. Now she's starting to look a uh, a little aged. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Not yeah. like Sandra Bullock age. I swear she's taking all the adrenochrome from the children. No, she put. She yes, she is. Age. Oh, you know she, she is. Not age, bro. She she still was looks on the good. Ellen DeGeneres show, and Ellen was like, "So what do you do to stay looking so youthful?" And she's like, "I take." Um, and she tried to like step around it, and then she's like, "Ellen just called her out." She's like, "You use the foreskin of Korean babies to like look younger because apparently that skin." Is that the gimmick? They're supposed to tell you what they're doing? Yeah. So they don't get the bad karmas? That's what I... Uh, but Instagram it's right. weird. It is really weird. Holly weird. Dude, she still looks banging. Sandra? Yeah. Jennifer Aniston, too. Do you think Jennifer Aniston's uh, eating babies? I, I mean, uh, she's eating babies, but not those babies. Not those babies. Not those oh, babies. my God. <laughs> Um, you know who I was obsessed with in high school? Uh, Angelina Jolie. I never thought she was, I don't know. I, I was obsessed in. with her. I wasn't in. You know who's really hot back in the day, but as she got like older in films, she doesn't do films anymore. She got older in films, it was like, eh, she was okay looking, but. Who? Cameron Diaz. Remember Cameron Diaz in The Mask compared I, to like oh later God. Cameron Diaz? I love her though. Yeah, she's. She was fine in The Mask. Like, wow. I love that movie, too, The Man. It's a good movie. It's, it's so not as good, good as Truman Show, but it's good enough. It works. Jim Carrey's a genius. Yeah. Uh, he got caught in no conspiracies, though, like you are. So. Oh, I know. I love, my cons <laughs> I love my conspiracy stories, damn it. She's still that random crow. It is. I, it is real, really a thing. So I don't, I don't do it. Like, I, I had to watch someone on uh, 
because I think the flat earth thing is so absurd, but I had to watch a video on it. Mm-hmm. And they almost had me for a second. I was like, man, maybe there is a dome no. around the flat earth. No. And we can't get through the dome. <laughs> no, don't. Don't believe it. You know, you know who's a flat, a flat earther? Maybe we shouldn't get into it. No, finish it. Finish the thought. No, no we gotta wrap no, it up. The thought. No, we gotta wrap we it up. We need to go over two, three minutes. We'll save it. You minutes. know what? We'll, we'll save it. That's we'll a save it. That's a cliffhanger wow. because there's gonna be a whole other conversation. <laughs> so yeah, guys, that is it for episode three because Sammy did this. So international sign for wrap it up. Coming Take it out. Anyway. I'm waiting for you. Oh. Something, something, something. Three's company, two. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Thanks, guys. We bitter buds. We just smoked your asses up. Because we're out of all the cards. Oh. <laughs> just keep this going. Yeah. Or like extras, I guess. <laughs>